So today what I want to do is show you all just the setup process that I did for my, one of my most recent interviews, some of the things that I use. Now, as much as I hate talking about gear, there is some gear that I have to do touch on because it was provided to me. Provided to me not in a sense I have to talk positively about it, but just in a sense that I, I do have to at least mention into the video, right? Now, I do want to say that all the lighting that you're seeing is going to be provided by Nanlite. So with that being said, let's get straight into it. Now for this here, I really wanted to maximize the room. There was a lot of, you know, different stuff that I can kind of play with. So the first thing I want to do is like kind of like start setting up my camera placement. I knew out the gate I was going to be using three cameras. It was going to be two FX3s and one FX30. By the way, the FX30 is a phenomenal camera. Shout out to Beastman Productions. I, I spoke too soon about that camera. The FX30 is a phenomenal camera. All right, so we just had to stop and take pictures real quick uh, just to uh, make sure we put everything back how we want. But right now we're going to be shooting towards the corner of the room so we can have this here. So we're going to do a three camera setup. Two FX3s, one FX30. Um, I'm going to more than likely use a Nanlite projector to put something on that wall back there. Just something kind of look like the light is coming from this window. Um, but yeah, just kind of want to show you all the setup. So we have the Nanlite 30X, 15X projector, 720, 500, 300, B Mark IIs, 60 B Mark IIs. Uh, show you all. Here's my everything case. I just I called it that because that's exactly what it is. It's an everything case. Everything is in that that I would need for production. And here we have got to keep mix on deck. I don't have much breath funky. But here uh FX3, FX30, FX3. We even tuck some Pavo 2 succeeds in these in these uh in these little buckets. Now the great thing about when you're lighting spaces is you can control which areas you want to be focused on and how much attention you want on your subject, right? We had the projector mount. 300 B Mark II. Um, Nanlite like Pavel II for the hair light with the scrim and the 500 B Mark II. Speaking of the scrim, I don't want to forget this. The scrim was actually not bad to set up. Now, one thing I can say about this now, this scrim was provided to me by Glide Gear. Shout out to Glide Gear. I love this setup process. Now, what makes this scrim so dope is that it is a three in one. So it's a four by four, a six by six, and an eight by eight. Now, I had originally bought this because I wanted to be able to diffuse the sun. Well, it looked like a little bit more professional if I wanted to put it on a C stand. I don't have to have somebody holding something for me at all times to diffuse the sun. So now they are building up the scrim from the one Glide Gear sent me. And the, what, what, what I love about the fact with Glide Gear is that they sent instructions to on how to build it. And they're setting it up now. Crew is setting it up now. I don't, this is not gonna be all side, so I'm cool with it just being as it is. As long as it's straight, I'm good enough with that. Um, they are setting up the side pieces now. But honestly, it didn't take long to set up. If I had to be real, wait, what would y'all say? Pretty, pretty simple? It takes about three people. <laughs> See Jocelyn going to the gym. He had a time with a small shirt to show his arms. <laughs> I work for BET now, y'all. Hey, wait on me. Wait on me, man. Wait on me. <laughs> you know, I wanted a scrim to just kind of like make my set look a little bit more professional. Not saying that, you know, your 501 reflector still won't work. Like I said, just for where I'm at in my business, I just, I want her to scrim. Shower curtain is still a thing. You know what I mean? If you don't want to get a scrim, the shower curtain still works. Now, the reason I like to scrim though is because to me, it just spread the light a little bit more evenly. I can control how tight that I want it or how big I want it. You know what I mean? So I do like that. I do like having an option of versatility. You do you do lose that with just a shower curtain. But again, if it's just a shower curtain you put on a C-stand, it's you actually have less of a footprint. But the, to me, the scrim, to me, it just provided a better quality of light and how soft it is. The 300B Mark II on that projector, it did, I think I had it like maybe like a, I think I had it like maybe like three to 5%. Like it wasn't super bright at all, but you know, when it's focused on a wall, it can look brighter than what it is. I actually went battery powered for the Forges of 500B Mark II. And that's because I had got these new batteries from a company, from a company called Rolux. And this thing here, now listen, this is a chunky boy. I'm not, I'm not gonna hold you. It's a, it's a fat battery, but batteries. I love these batteries here because they last so long. It's only a 9%. But I definitely drop a link to these batteries right here. You definitely want to pick those up. Uh, they sent them to me, but I've been using them. I love them. 
USB, uh, you have DTAP and a USB A port if you want to like connect anything else. Now, even though I use this on this set, I actually switched to these batteries uh, on my Nanlite 60B Mark IIs for weddings. Like these lights just last forever. So if you're interested in these lights, okay, this is a quality battery. So shout out to Rolex for sending me that. I'm not just over hyping that. Like this thing lasts forever compared to my other batteries. I don't know why we tend here talking so long about a battery, but I was just very impressed. It'd be a small, it'd be the small shit that you be impressed by. Once you get to a certain level, like camera and all that, it'd be like little works of change of life thing that makes the most difference to me. And a battery can go a long way. So trust me on that. I got two of these. You'll want them. Third angle, which is gonna be my C cam, which is the FX30, which is kind of like pointing down at an angle. I'm keeping them on the left third. Cause I see this like on Netflix. I just wanted to try it. I'm like, okay, let me see what this angle looks like. And I love it. Honestly, I really do love that angle. I thought it was fire. I thought it was dope. So if that's something that you don't know, use kind of like interested in trying, I definitely say try. You know, have more fun with your projects. You know, a client is paying you to do, you know, do a specific thing. They're still paying for your creativity and for you to showcase what else you can do with their image. So, you know, have fun when you're setting up your stuff. And also, again, just like I'm trying to tell you all, like with the spaces, light up your space to the way you want it to look. Like what I mean by that is like, if there's a corner that's too dark, if there's something on the floor, like whatever the case is, like light up your space. Now, as far as the window pattern is concerned, I definitely did want to use like a window pattern, but I'm like, you know, it doesn't really have any blinds in that window, so I don't know if it works. So I just put just a random like little foliage, fo is it foliage? I guess you, I, I call it a foliage, foliage on the back wall. Just kind of give me something like a little bit different. And to me, honestly, this looked like a Netflix doc. I'm not gonna hold you, like it looks phenomenal. And I really enjoy shooting with the FX3. This is my first, this was my first not like corporate job with the FX3 and using Cine EI and all that and I'm not going back. Like Cine EI is the truth. It is definitely different than, you know, your standard ISOs of 640 going all the way up. I prefer Cine EI over your standard base ISOs for when it, com when it comes to exposure. Like the exposure index is actually phenomenal. If you all need like an in-depth video on how to, you know, properly expose your footage, I can do that. But I'm gonna tell you right now, like, Here's Cine EI in a nutshell. It doesn't actually doesn't take a whole video. Cine EI in a nutshell. You got two base ISOs that you're shooting at. What you want to do is you can set your base ISO, you know, leave your base ISO at 800. And once you get like 1.7 to two stops over or even like 1.3 to two stops over, what Cine EI is, it's showing you how your image will look in post if you want to adjust the exposure. It's always at 800 and 12,800, whichever one you choose from, be able to hit a button just to switch to either one. But if you want to make sure that your image looks great and you're gonna have enough latitude. Light your, light your scene at the at the base at 800 or 12,800. And then what you wanna do after that, you can just lower it down in camera if you want it to be dark or brighter. Now, like I told you all before, you know, mic placement and lighting is a, is a thing. I feel like if you've been following me at this point, you know, but when you're lighting your scene, obviously keep all your cameras to the right. If your lights is on the left, and then I also put everything, my mics, cameras, I always put everything on one side and on the right side of my, my interviewer. Now, this is not necessarily about gear, but this is just something for me just to kind of like put y'all up on game. When I do these type of not for profit, when I do these type of interviews, I'm not the one asking the questions. I hire an interviewer, and then I also hire two PAs. I had a gaffer, I had a PA. Like, the more equipment that you have, you're gonna require a bigger team. And if your project does not require you to have that budget in a team, then you just don't need some of this gear that I'm probably talking about right now. But for me, you know, being able to just focus on the video only is a thing. Oh my, I love it, right? Being able to just focus on my image, build out my camera, and at some point I wanna hire somebody to build out my camera for me, so all I gotta do is just make sure everything is running smoothly. Being able to just focus on your image as a, as a DP, as a cinematographer that's set, you're gonna get a lot, you know, having a team, you're gonna get a way better image with the gear that I'm telling you about. So even though this gear is nice, if you don't have a team to help you really set this up and fulfill your actual vision, you're probably still gonna have a hard time. Now, in regards to the last thing, in regards to camera placement, this, this will be the last thing we'll touch on before we wrap it up. With camera placement, if you're not following me on IG yet, make sure you follow me on IG at Brooks Media. That's Brooks Media with two S. Stay with me, y'all. If you ain't adding the S, you ain't spelling it right. Now, at first, in regards to camera placement, I, I did have a hard time trying to find like that center shot, right? Because I've seen this a lot of times on Netflix, but I still feel like the, the, the client would still be kind of like, I'm gonna just show you. Like, so if the camera's in front of me, I don't want it to look obvious that the the person who's being interviewed is talking to somebody right here. I kind of want the camera like back further enough. So like they're looking at somebody, but you can't tell, but you kind of having a hard time they're looking at you or if they're looking at the camera or the interviewer. I think I got it right for the most part. And then we had the FX3 on a 70 to 180 for the side angle, which, you know, I mean, just kind of get my, you know, some more hair on if I didn't want to do a sliding shot. And then we also had, like I said, the FX30 on a C angle, which I absolutely love just to kind of show just a different dynamic of a shot. So, and at the end of the day, 
I hope that y'all learned something. Not necessarily about the gear, but from camera placement, why it's important to have a team, and lighting. Like, lighting was a big part of this, and being able to get the lighting that I wanted was huge. So, catch you on the next video, man. Deuces.